Hey guys, John Santos and welcome to this channel where we help entrepreneurs start their business ASAP with little resources or experience. Now in today's video we're going to talk about the importance of visuals and what it takes to create a great presentation to have people buy your products and I'll give you a free resource that you can immediately use to pull imagery that you're going to need to help do that. Stick around. Hey, shout out to Graphic Stock for sponsoring this video. They have the largest online collection of royalty-free images. So what's the first thing that you see when you go onto a website's homepage or when you get an email newsletter? The first thing that you really see and the thing that catches your attention is the visuals that they're presenting you. Now, that could also tell you guys the reason why all these high-end brands and all these high-end streetwear brands are always spending a good amount of money on all their photography that they're taking. The message that needs to come across you can't explain it in words. It really has to come across with a picture, either a picture or a video. Like that's what people want to see and that's what people get captivated to. I want you to think back to the time when you were at the last store that you went to. There's always imagery up on the wall that depicts a certain lifestyle. That's really what drives e-commerce and what drives retailers to sell you products. So now you gotta start thinking like, okay, well, they're spending a lot of money. They're, they're paying photographers, which are a couple hundred to thousand dollars per hour to capture that imagery and really capture that lifestyle. So how are you gonna be able to really compete and really be able to create something similar? So the first way you can do it is you can gather a group of photographers to really shoot your product in the light that it needs or buy photos from them. So a lot of times what they have is they have photos that they've already been shooting of different places they've traveled, different places that they've been or places where they live near. You'll be able to buy those photos directly off of them, either for a flat fee or for a license. Now that moves us into our second phase of this. Photographers will work with you either for a flat fee per photo, giving you relinquishing the rights for you to keep that photo, or they'll charge you a licensing fee, meaning that depending on how many people are going to see that photo, they'll take a, they'll take a certain amount. And if it exceeds that, then they want another amount. But overall, you always want to get the photos free and clear. Now that's going to be the first thing that you guys always want to do when working with any outside photography agency or visual agency or visual person. You always want to be able to own the photos free and clear. Because the last thing you want is for them to come after you because you didn't, didn't work with them with the contract that they originally provided. Um, and overall, you want to be able to use those photos wherever. It doesn't matter if you want to use them on print, if you want to use them online. You don't want to worry about that in the long term. So you can either buy them, you can either license them, or there's other resources that you could also use. Let's face that first question. Google is not the best place for you to be using visuals from. So like say for instance you're looking for a certain landscape for one of your email newsletters that you want to pump out. You don't want to download that landscape photo that you saw from Google that looks so fucking badass and clean. You know like, you don't want to do it because it's not legal for you to use somebody else's photos in your marketing material if you didn't take it or if you didn't pay for the rights. All right, so anything that's on Google is off limits unless it's one of those free, royalty free and it's like legitimately royalty free and you did some research and it's a good site. You can't just copy and paste an image and put it onto your social media or share it through your newsletter or print it on a magazine and put your, your own design to it. That's not possible. So make sure you never pull images from Google because you will get hit with a cease and desist or some type of licensing structure for you to be able to use their photo. All right, so that's not an option. So now you may be wondering, okay, well, I don't have the money to pay for a photographer and now I don't have, I can't pull images off Google. So what, what is there for you guys? There's all kinds of different resources out there and the one that we're gonna talk about today is Graphic Stock. Now Graphic Stock is an online database with hundreds of thousands of illustrations and photos that you can use for your marketing materials. Now, unlike a lot of these other places that might sell you per photo, Graphic Stock charges a flat fee, $99 for an annual fee, and you can download as many photos as you want, as many images or illustrations as you want directly off their site. Now, a lot of other websites, like I mentioned, they charge per photo, so they charge you 35 bucks, 40 bucks to get you a royalty-free image. Graphic Stock provides everything that you have available online for only 99 bucks a year. And every single photo has no royalties attached to it. Remember what I said is that a lot of these other 
places they'll charge you for either okay if you're gonna put it into a magazine or if you're gonna only publish it online like there's different tiers and if you break that tier they're gonna charge you more well graphic stock offers it all tiered free it's all for you royalty free it's a true royalty free platform and you can rest assured that you won't be getting hit with any cease and desist orders or any copyright infringements or any kind of lawsuits because they're covering it on their end so if you guys want to try it out there's actually a seven day free trial going on right now they reached out to me and this video was sponsored by them um, so they reached out to me to help you guys learn more about them I've, I've personally used them in the past when I first started my business before I started paying photographers for every photo or working with them they're a great resource for anybody that's starting out because they truly do give you options to use all kinds of cool photos that you can either use on your newsletters on your social media headers and like to initially get established online and even as you're growing they give you the options for illustrations things that you can manipulate to really create your own designs so overall I really vouch for them so when they reached out for me and they said hey would you like to work with us on helping us share this information with you I said yeah what do you got for my viewers so they're giving everybody seven day free trial if you guys click the link in the description or you go to graphicstock.com slash YouTube you guys will get a seven day free trial to their platform you guys can check out the different imagery you can download I think about hundred and forty photos uh, for your free trial that gives you more than enough time to just go in there choose the, the images you're going to be using for your headers for your newsletters and visuals are very important for you to be able to garnish sales so you can't simply put up a shirt and like some text and expect people to, to want to buy your product you really have to depict that lifestyle that you're going for and people want to feel at home people want to feel as if they're walking into the store when they're logging onto your website you really have to give them that lifestyle feel the imagery has to be there the text the descriptions everything matters so I quickly like to show you guys how you can use some of these photos onto your marketing materials to your presentations and to really boost up your brand's imagery check it out so in order to get started simply head over to the graphicstock.com slash YouTube download link the link is in the description once you guys get there you could create your own free account and then you can literally search for whatever imagery or vector or artwork that you're gonna need. In my case, we're doing a basketball. Um, since we have a lot of different projects related to basketball, they have a, as you could tell, they have a lot of different options for that sport. Now, some of them you may or may not be able to use. I mean, just really use your, your judgment on what will work for you. I know some people see a certain image and they really can take something more out of it than it should so that you could literally go into this in Photoshop later and pretty much manipulate it to make it your own but the beauty of it is that you'll never have to pay for a royalty fee on it so we'll start off by just downloading this image and I'll show you guys how you can enhance a simple presentation uh, by just downloading a simple image that's already high high resolution it has a certain feel to it so you don't really you don't have to go out there and take the shot this one was actually the size was about a, it's about a 5,000 pixel file uh, real high resolution so you can literally zoom in and please excuse if this screen share that I have right now is kind of distorted in its color um, it's probably not the best screen sharing software but what I wanted to illustrate is mainly what you can do with these photos once you get them so even though you might see just a normal standard photo um, you gotta really make it your own you gotta really make it what's going to fit with your guys's visuals that you have in mind so your overall website cohesiveness that's all gonna come into play. For the purpose of this video, we're not gonna go into the design portion of it because it takes a while, especially with working with text. Make it your own, whatever filter packs you might have um, in order for you to really make this photo pop. It's completely up to you with how you edit it. You know, you can make it look as simple or as complex as you want it to, but at the end of the day, it's all up to how you wanna design it. And so once you have all those things in file, I'm gonna just do a quick merge there. So I just want to show you guys if I needed this photo and this is how I would use it. Okay, so here I'm going to show you the before and after. So as you can see, this is the before photo. Now this would be normal if somebody didn't have access to a photographer or somebody else to shoot their visuals. The bottom right is that image that you could take on a cell phone. So if you're taking your photos to create your lifestyle on your phone, that's what it could possibly look like. And here's the after photo using graphic stock, stock imagery. Now, similar concept, but as you could tell, it really enhances 
the aesthetic appeal really shows something in action and not something static so that's just to show you guys what you could do with hundreds of thousands of photos on that site pick and choose whichever one fit your brand and get to work so I hope this video was helpful for you guys in, in the pursuit of growing and establishing your online visuals and your newsletters and your social media. Overall, it's very important, as we mentioned, it's you gotta, you gotta watch out for the photographers, you gotta watch out for the other services that are selling you stock photos per photo. And overall, Graphic Stock has the largest selection online, hands down, whatsoever. So I wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of that resource. So if you'd like to give them a shot, remember the description is down below. Seven day free trial, make sure you check it out, download the images that you'll need. Comment down below if you have any questions and overall your experience of working with different online photography, stock photos, or any other tips and suggestions that you may have for everybody else watching this video. Let's get it and talk to you soon.